Not so long ago, if you wanted to cart your family around, you might have used one of these. It's uh, very spacious and I imagine pretty good on fuel, but things have moved on a bit. And for today's family transport needs, you might be interested in one of these. Welcome to the Kia Grand Sedona, and it is massive. It's the biggest Kia ever made, actually. I'm not sure about that, I just made that up, but it is very big, very big indeed, and that sort of justifies its massive price tag. 700,000 Rand for a Kia. But this is a lot of car. In fact, every time I try and tell people about all the features in this car, I feel like I'm in a very marked commercial. There's just a very long list, and at the end of the list, I find myself saying, but wait, there's more. Okay, so I know this is the top of the range SLX edition, but the amount of stuff in this Grand Sedona is ridiculous. Full steering wheel controls, both of these seats are electric and the driver's seat has memory function. Both of these seats are heated and cooled. And if you hit this little button over here, it'll heat up your steering wheel. Independent aircon for front and rear. The sound system is provided by Infinity, and I promise you, it is huge. And you connect to that sound system through a USB port and AUX jack, and hidden away in this little compartment is a charging USB port for your devices. That's a very nice touch. And if we head to the back, we find the second of two sunroofs and two leather heated seats for your passengers. They also get their own charging port and they get their own aircon controls in the little panel above there. And sometimes it's difficult to get past these seats to the third row, but look at this clever little trick that the seats have so that you can easily get access to the back there. But let's head to the boot where we find an electric tailgate, of course. It's a little slow, but it reveals a vast loading space. Now, it's not so wide, but it's very deep. I mean, that's basically a bathtub. And they've done that by removing the spare tire, which is a little bit concerning, but you do get a tire repair kit. Now, these seats fold completely flat as well. One lever, which you give a good yank, there you go. One, two, look at that. And if you need more load space than that, well then, I don't know, you need a bucky, I think. I have been hugely impressed with the engine in this car. There is a petrol available, a 3.3 liter V6, but I just can't see that being a very good idea. This is the 2.2 turbo diesel, and even though it's just a four-cylinder and has to move this big car around, there's loads of torque, nearly 500 newton meters actually. But most impressive is the fuel economy. I've been driving around all day, and I'm averaging 8.7. I was driving the new Ford B-Max last week. That's a small car with a one-liter turbo petrol engine and I was averaging over 9 to the 100 in that. So it really gives you an idea of how good this diesel motor is. I'm sure if you drive into any shopping center in the world, you'll find one of these, the Chrysler Grand Voyager. It's the origin of the species. It started the segment back in 1988. And when you park the two next to each other, it's easy to see where the Kia designers got their inspiration from. But I do think the Kia looks better. 
This new Grand Sedona really is new. They've re-engineered it from the ground up to be a lot stiffer and a lot quieter. And you can feel it out on the open road, 120 k's an hour. This is a properly comfortable and quiet car. Prices start at 500,000 Rand and this top of the range SLX model is 200,000 Rand more. And that is a lot of money. But you could buy a luxury sedan for the same price. And are you getting as much car? The Sedona seats seven people in absolute comfort. If you fold the seats down, it's infinitely more practical. And as we've seen, it doesn't cost much more to run. If you have a family, it makes a lot of sense. And in a busy world of moms and dads and kids and their friends and soccer practice and school plays, things that make sense are often worth way more than their price on paper.